Hi, let's see how to fix the Shutterstock error code 500. Are you facing the Shutterstock error code 500? Are you having the trouble posting your content on the Shutterstock or downloading the images from there? So you need not worry. In this particular video, we'll see what are the causes of the Shutterstock error code 500. And we also see like how we can fix those kind of particular errors. Okay, so now let's see what are the causes of the Shutterstock error code 500. The first, the first cause is incorrect permission to one or more files. And the second cause is server timeout. And the third cause is Shutterstock server down. The fourth cause is accumulated caches and the cookies. Okay, so now let's see like how we can fix these kind of particular errors. The first method is reload the web page. Reloading the web page sends another request to the website server to retry the complete task. So in that case, previous request has paid because of the any server timed out issues. This step can help you in restarting the press processing to complete the task and therefore help in resolving the Shutterstock error code 500. The second method is reset the hardware network hardware. Although the Shutterstock error code is a server side issue and you should try to resetting your network hardware devices like modem or the router to ensure the stable connection at your end. The steps to reset the Wi-Fi router, keep your router plugged in, find your router reset button, use a paper clip to hold down the reset button for 30 seconds, release the button, wait for the router to power back on. Steps for resetting the Wi-Fi modem. To reset the modem, you typically power it off by unplugging it from the power source, wait for the short period, then plug it back in to power it off. The action re-establishes the connection with the ISP internet service provider. The third method is update network drivers. After dealing with the hardware part of the next part is next step is to resolve any issues with the firmware which is done by updating the network drivers. Okay, so in order to update the network drivers for the windows follow these steps. Okay, so you can go to the control panel and click for and check for the device manager or use the desktop search bar to access it. Expand the network adapter adapter options list right click on the network drivers you want to update the and choose it choose the update driver option from the drop down menu okay suppose if you are using a mac follow these steps one by one and the fourth method is clear the browser caches and the cookies cache data in your browser can sometimes cause the issues including the error pointed okay suppose if you are using a google chrome or if you are using a mozilla firefox or if you are using a microsoft edge try to clear all the cookies and caches i will show you for the chrome so that you can try for the other web browsers also go to the last three dots click on the more tools and click on clear browsing data and here you can click on clear data it will clear all the cookies and caches okay Suppose if you are using a Mozilla Firefox, follow the similar method, go to the options, privacy and security, cookies and site data, clear data and can click on clear. Okay, so if you are using a Microsoft Edge, follow this method in order to clear the cookies and caches. The fifth method is check the Shutterstock server status. It's always good practice to check the official website or the official social media web page to check their server status if they have acknowledged any ongoing server issues or the maintenance. This is the official social website of the Shutterstock. Okay, and the sixth method is try again later. It doesn't matter if it's time sensitive, consider trying to access the Shutterstock at the later time. Okay, because there can be some kind of maintenance going on so that you can try after some time. The seventh method is contact the Shutterstock help center. If the about troubleshooting methods, if the other methods didn't help for you, you can contact the Shutterstock customer support team through the website support.shutterstock.com. Okay, so the backend technical team, they will help you to fix this particular issue. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.